So the guided missile is the newest addition to Fortnite. A lot of people don't know how to use it properly or how to counter it. So I'll explain all of this in this video. First I'm going to start with what it does. The guided missile is basically a normal rocket launcher but with the big difference that you can control the rocket. When you shoot the rocket, after a small delay the rocket will start flying and your camera is attached to the rocket. You can't control your character anymore, nor can you see what is going on around your character while you do this. You can go back to controlling your character by either exploding the rocket or letting it fly without your control. Also mind that the rocket can be destroyed by dealing 100 damage to it, so they're not invincible. You can explode the rocket by either waiting until the timer runs out, which is the bar that you can see in the middle of the screen, or you can collide with something to make it blow up. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to use it properly. Before using it, make sure you are in a secure location. Preferably behind a mountain so that people can't destroy whatever you're shooting behind from. When you have a good position, make sure no enemies are near you. When playing squads or duos, make sure one of your teammates is basically covering for you and calling out incoming enemies to make sure you don't die. A good way to secure your character while you're controlling a rocket is to build yourself in and make a hole. There's loads of different ways you can do this, but this is what I usually do since it doesn't take too long. If you don't have teammates, you need to be very careful since no one has your back. What I like to do is fire the rocket, go straight into the air and then come down again. While coming down you have a really good view of your surroundings and you can spot people easily. So when you're completely secure you can start using the rockets to find enemies or go for someone that you know is already there. If you're looking for enemies you can just go around places looking for them very easily. The rocket can make really quick turns so you can just go in buildings and check where people are. This might require some practice since the rocket is pretty fast. Once you know where the enemy is then you can just start barraging them. 80% if not more of the player base doesn't know how to build fast so they are very easy kills. If the player somewhat knows how to build, just fly around whatever they're building. Most of them will expect you to go straight for them, while you can just go a bit further and explode them from behind. Since the rockets can be shot down, it's best to fly out of line of sight with your rockets. You can either fly behind structures or mountains, just to make the rocket obvious to everyone. Now that you know how to use the rocket launcher properly, let's talk about how to counter it. A lot of people say it's overpowered, but the reality is that if you know how it works, you can counter it pretty easily. The rocket gets destroyed by either doing 100 damage to it, making it run out, or letting it collide with something. Two of those things we can control, so let's get into them. If a rocket is coming towards you, just make sure you are built in. Depending on your skill level and how comfortable you are with the building buttons, you can either build yourself in and wait, or you can build last second. If you build yourself in and wait, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage, so you should really learn how to build fast. You can also shoot the rocket before it gets to you, since it only has 100 health, so don't be afraid to just shoot it down. If you're not playing solos, then this should be really easy. When the rocket is coming towards you, that means the enemy is stationary, so that also means that he's an easy kill. If you know where he's shooting from, just destroy whatever he's behind, take out your sniper and headshot him. The rocket will no longer be in his control and just fly off somewhere. If however the enemy is not behind something you can destroy, then it's best to either have someone push them or just keep destroying the rockets. This is very situational and I can't really give you an answer on what the best option is here. One last thing you can do to counter the missile is to shoot the missile before it starts flying. After you shoot, there's a small delay before the rocket starts moving at its normal speed. So when you shoot the rocket, you will damage the shooter. I learned that the hard way. Now that I covered how to counter it, let's get into the special section for rocket riding. The rocket riding works just like a normal rocket launcher, but since you can control the rocket, this allows for some interesting scenarios. You can rocket ride yourself by shooting the rocket, getting some distance, then coming straight back to yourself and you stop controlling the rocket and then you jump on it. But you can also rocket ride other people. You can do that just like the normal rocket launcher, but the interesting thing with this is that you can control the rocket freely horizontally without the person falling off. If you move too much vertically, the person will fall off, so try not to do that too much. Anyway, this concludes my somewhat short guide on the guided missile. If you have any questions, you can write them down in the comments and I'll gladly answer them for you. If you enjoyed the video, liking the video helps a ton and of course subscribe if you want to see more content. Anyway, see you on the next one.